Hey guys, it's Madison and originally I wasn't planning on filming a vlog again so soon but this weekend is Saturday which is the Lunar New Year and I had a couple of things I wanted to get done, goals I wanted to accomplish and I figured hey might as well film it because that usually makes me uh, a bit more productive anyway so yeah. Um, today is Thursday and we're going to start out this vlog with something really fun and exciting, uh, taxes. <laughs> today at my university they're having a tax informational session and so I'm going to go and figure out what I need to do <laughs> to do my taxes this year. The system here sounds pretty easy so hopefully it will be easy and yeah I'm about to head over there. I have about 10 minutes before I head over there so I'm gonna go ahead and do my little question daily diary in Korean and then head over to the campus and nearby that session I think they're also having a little art exhibition so I might stop by there as well and check it out and yeah that's the plan for today so far. So it's Saturday, so it's Solar Eve, <laughs> the day before Solar, and since most of Thursday after the tax meeting and yesterday I spent uh, cooped up inside um, doing some studying and watching a lot of tennis because the Australian Open is on these days, I decided that today I wanted to get out of the house a little bit, so here I am outside. If I recall correctly, there's a park around here that has like a bunch of statues representing the different animals of the zodiac, so I'm gonna try and find those statues again and find this year's zodiac animal thing. <laughs> and then after that I'm going to head to the store because I'm gonna try and make a special holiday food tomorrow. We'll see how that goes, but I need to pick up ingredients, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Getting a little fresh air even though it's freezing <laughs> um, and yeah let's go
All right, so it is now officially the day of Sarar and as you saw, I have done nothing really that special today. It's just been kind of a chill, casual day, but I decided that because it is Sarar, I'm going to try and make one of the traditional Korean foods that is eaten on Sarar and that is Tokgu, which is like rice cake soup. So yesterday I went and got all the ingredients. I found a recipe online that I'm going to be following. Um, that says it's like a one person serving and that it should take like 15 minutes to cook. So uh, hoping it's easy to make and also hoping that it tastes good because like I said, I've never actually tried it before. So that'll be an adventure. I won't know if it tastes weird. Is it just the dish and me not liking it or did I ruin it in some way? Um, so hopefully it comes out um, delicious and wonderful. I picked up all the ingredients that I needed yesterday and yeah, here goes nothing. I just finished making this and I don't know who made this recipe, but first of all, it takes longer than 50 minutes. And second of all, there's no way this is a portion for one person, it's huge. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, serve it up and try it. Um, I think I might put a little bit too much pepper in, but here's hoping it tastes good. It smells interesting. And yeah, here's hoping it tastes good. <laughs> So it doesn't taste bad. Um, I wouldn't say it tastes great. <laughs> it's kind of bland. I'm gonna try and add some more seasoning and see if it tastes better with some more salt and pepper. So it's still a little bit bland, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably my fault. <laughs> um, and I would love to give Doku um, a try at like an actual restaurant prepared by someone who actually knows what they're doing. Um, Cause I have no idea how it's supposed to taste and how close I got, but oh well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> weekend. Um, I was really disappointed in the failure of the Tokgu cooking adventure. I did manage to finish off one little bowl full and then I was just like, I can't eat any more of this. It's just too tasteless. But thankfully the mandu and kimchi chan were there to save the day and save my little solo <laughs> sonar celebration. And also, by the way, to close the loop on my Korean taxes, because I'm sure everyone who clicked on this video is dying to know more about my Korean taxes. Man, are Korean taxes so simple. Like yesterday I spent maybe 20 minutes completing everything I needed to do for my taxes. And most of that time was just me reviewing the PowerPoint that our university's tax person sent and just following her directions. Like the actual process took like 10 minutes. It was crazy simple, crazy easy. I don't know why the US can't get their tax life together and make it as easy as it is here because the US tax system is way too complicated, but I was super happy that it was a really easy thing. And then finally, last but not least, I wanted to mention this book. I've been reading this book a lot this weekend, as you guys have seen, and wow, this book 
is wild. <laughs> I mentioned in my last video that I didn't even really have a big reason to choose this book to read other than the fact that it was on my age level and then also relatively short so I was hoping that I'd be able to read it in a couple days but once I brought it home I was kind of not very excited to actually start reading it because I don't know just based on this cover like the pinky purpliness and the sky is like is he walking is he sleeping is he on drugs like he just has a weird expression and like just the the vibes of the cover are not something that I would usually choose. I checked it out not only because it was short, but also because um, the author looked pretty young. And also it was published like one year ago. So it's a modern book written by someone who looks kind of in my age group. And I figured, hey, maybe I'll like it. But like I said, I was not excited to actually start reading it because this doesn't really appeal to me usually. Um, but once I did start reading it, on page two, the narrator starts talking about how this dog was like brutally murdered and I was like what's going on? I was not expecting this pinky purpley really dreamy looking cover to suddenly go straight into dog murder but there I was um, reading about dog murder and it's actually been a fascinating read like I did not expect like I should have guessed by the title like A Little Lie or Small Lies that something at least mildly nefarious was going to be going on but um wow it's a lot deeper and a lot i guess darker than i expected um but the story so far has really captured my attention um there's only four chapters like four long chapters in the book and i finished the first two so i'm halfway through and man in the first chapter i was like oh dang and in the second chapter i was like oh wait what um so it has definitely been really interesting to read so far so yeah, very happy that I ended up choosing this book despite my uh, initial reservations and hopefully it will remain as good for the rest of it. I was kind of hoping to read the whole thing <laughs> over the past four days, but I'm pretty happy with Halfway considering I've watched a ton of tennis because the Australian Open is on. And so I didn't have that much time in my day to actually spend on other things like language learning because I spent like 30 hours watching tennis. But yes, like I said, I really enjoyed my weekend of watching a ton of tennis. Um, reading half of this excellent book, surprisingly excellent book, despite the dog murder. <laughs> I even enjoyed the failure of my cooking adventure yesterday, despite the fact that it was a failure. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it was something new that I tried. It was a fun experience. And yeah, I felt like I was actually doing something for Sardar, even though I'm, you know, alone in my apartment. And last but not least, I also like happened to clean almost my entire apartment. All I have left is to deep clean the bathroom, but like, this is as clean and organized my apartment has been since I moved here like six months ago. So, so yeah, I really enjoyed my Saturday weekend. Hope you guys also had a great weekend and a great beginning to the year of the rabbit. And until next time, annyeong.